So what would Archimedes say about your spreadsheets? Well, first of all, why should Archimedes care? Why would he go through all the trouble of building a time machine and learning how to use a computer to have a look at your spreadsheets? Well, research shows that 88% of all spreadsheets contain an error. Now, that's the number a guy wants to build a time machine for, right? Solving that problem could really impact society because it is estimated that each year, $10 billion dollars are lost because of errors in spreadsheets. Well, that impact on society, for me, that makes them the perfect topic for research. You could, for instance, wonder why use a spreadsheet in the first place if you have an 88% chance of getting it wrong. Well, here's why. Spreadsheet users told us it's so hard to explain to people from IT what I'm doing, for instance, managing an investment portfolio, it's like talking to a different species. It's easier and cheaper if I do it myself. So then the question becomes, why hasn't IT come up with a solution to enable users to do it themselves in a way that's better than a spreadsheet? Well, here's why. IT says they're barbarians. It's just a spreadsheet. It's not really programming. And with that, they discard all spreadsheet users, basically. And of course, they're really wrong. Spreadsheets have everything going for them to be considered a real programming language. Constants and functions and formulas. It's just as good of a programming language as any. And in my research, I've embraced this idea of seeing a spreadsheet as a programming language, as a way of expressing an algorithm. And here he is, Archimedes. You've been waiting for him. Now, this is a guy that's passionate about algorithms. When he was sentenced to death and a soldier came, as you see in this painting, to slay off his head, he didn't say, please don't kill me. What he said was, please don't mess up my circles. So this is a guy that loves his circles. And he was, in fact, one of the first to come up with an algorithm to estimate pi. And he did that in a very clever way. What he saw was, if you add more and more sides to a polygon, it starts to look more and more like a circle. And with this idea, he could estimate pi with an infinite number of decimals with this short, tiny formula, very concise. And he applied that in a consistent way, over and over again. So would Archimedes be here on this stage today, looking at your spreadsheets? Maybe he would see something like this. This is not mathematical beauty. You think Archimedes would like this? I don't think so. This is, in a, in a sense, the opposite of what Archimedes was doing. This is an infinite formula, almost, to calculate a tiny number. This is really not worth dying for. This is not a beautiful way to express mathematical thoughts. And Archimedes doesn't only have business here today. He could also take his newly built time machine way back before his own time, to 1800 BC, because they had some spreadsheets there. Look, it's a spreadsheet, right? Rows and columns, the whole nine yards. And what this, uh, it's a Babylonian tablet, by the way, what it depicts is a list of the Pythagorean triplets. And what you should know about the Pythagorean triplets is that they predate Pythagoras himself by a thousand years. So this is a nice pre-Facebook example of it's not doing it first, it's doing it best and making it big. But something else stands out about this tablet, and I'm sure you've already seen it because you all know Conoscript, is that there's an error here. This, this cell is wrong. This is a copy-paste error avant la lettre. And why? Archimedes would know why. Why is the cell wrong? Because consistency is broken. The consistency you love. The, you're applying the same thing over and over again. And this error really inspired me to take this problem beyond my PhD thesis. Because the problem that we've been having for 4,000 years and still costing us billions of dollars, well, that's the problem I want to spend my life on. And this error also beautifully shows that it's really not about a device. You really can't blame your computer. It doesn't matter whether you do it on a tablet or on a tablet. It's just very hard to get the math right. So what I hope you remember from my talk is that you shouldn't be afraid of errors. And you shouldn't be ashamed of errors. 
the Babylonians, they invented mathematics and they made mistakes. That pretty much excuses all of you guys. So don't be ashamed of errors. Don't be afraid of errors. But uh, what I try to do in my research and now with my company, Infotron, is to make people aware of errors. So our software looks at your spreadsheets and says, watch out, something might be wrong. So this is like having a tiny Archimedes on your shoulder that says, ooh, you're not concise, ooh, you're not consistent. And with my work, I really let Archimedes and all the old mathematics inspire me. Because I think if you're creating history, at least you have to know history. So I study all the ancient mathematics be just because I love it and because they have a beautiful way of expressing mathematics. So what I think, what I believe that I'm doing in my research is I'm bringing 4,000 years of math knowledge to your spreadsheets. Thank you very much.